Okay, so the next one I had is um, so th this is a I think this is maybe a first, but this is backed. This is this is like one hundred percent backed already. This oh is the God. first time we've done this. I think this is the first time we've done. This. I mean, I know the smart dog clippers got fully backed after we finished it, which we predicted okay, but... at the time, but we never actually have reviewed one that's been fully backed from the start. Okay, yeah. So this this is backed. Like this is already done. Like this is done. So, um, but you like. You like uh, you like your um like board games and like that I, kind of realm, right? I do consider myself a bit of a board game aficionado. Mm -hmm. I like about tabletop fun. And uh, when when it comes to that kind of thing, what what's important for board games for you? Um, like we're talking about the game itself. Um, I like it to be kind of you know, I like the gameplay to be fun. I like it to be well thought out. I like the pieces to be kind of well made. Um. Yeah, kind of stuff like that, I suppose. Okay. And, like, they they, all, they need to, like, stand out, right? Like, you wouldn't want, like, two board games that are, like, kind of similar, kind of. I mean, ideally, yeah, you'd want them to be different. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of a board game, but it's also kind of not. But uh, this is a completely original idea that you've never seen of before, ever. You've well, never seen this before. Okay, let's see what it is. It's oh, f fuck off! You you've never seen this before, have you? Nope, that totally stands up. That's that's unique. It's uh, there's nothing quite like it. The worst part so, is that I know there are so many different ones of these. The 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 thing I the thing I don't like about this and uh, one is the name. Like yeah. if you're gonna be subtle, be subtle. Don't do, don't do that. Um, but two, uh, what what's fun about Cards Against Humanity? What what like makes it really stand out from other things? Um, I suppose it's like some of the weird, kind of edgy answers you can get with some of the combinations. Right. Yeah. So this is like the weird, edgy, dark humor, right? Yeah. So there's a question here in the and in the FAQ that says, "Is this game family friendly?" To which they respond, "If this game were a movie, it would be rated PG-13." So essentially, it's... this is the kids' bop of Cards Against Humanity. Ooh, <laughs> this is just constant safe for work answers. Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, what? Also, any profits generated will be donated to the University of Dallas. Why? <laughs> okay. Okay, the other thing that's kind of annoying me here is like, so like, th there's quite a few Cards Against Humanity sort of like third party expansions. Like, I think the biggest one was um, Crabs Adjust Humidity, I think was the first one I was aware of. But this seems to be. Like, why are the cards. Why are the black cards now blue? And why is it telling you the rules of the game? It kind of feels like it's. An expansion that's pretending it's not an expansion, which... Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is what I don't like. It comes across like they're... Like, they did this. That they they have made this idea. Like, this is an original idea that they've come up with. Yeah. And at first, at first I'll be honest, I, I sat there thinking, oh, maybe... Maybe this is like an original thing, and it's just a... It's just a coinky dink. But the name, Groundhogs Against Humanities. You, you just... There's there's no coinky dink that big in the universe where that that would no, that would happen. But I mean, like it's if you're gonna make an expansion, make an expansion. But this if this was an expansion to Cards Against Humanity, though, then it can't be PG thirteen. Exactly, exactly. So it's it's his own original thing, and it's basically Cards Against Humanity, but removing the edgy side of it, which to be fair is like. 80% of the fun of Cards Against Humanity because when yeah. you vote for something you vote for the most fucked up one or the one that makes you go ooh like it makes your body like look at the example image did you know the university has a team that has a blank team so your answers are clouds of cigarette smoke Jew Santee wine Fanny Price's savage commentary of 19th century aristocratic society and drinking cold coffee from um, uh, something mug. It's a bit. None of these things make me laugh. This, this is my whole. This, so this was. This is my point. 
it's not funny. <laughs> it's literally, it literally ruins the game. It takes everything that Cards Against Humanity is and makes it terrible. Also, a couple other things I'm thinking. Okay, so my initial thought was, oh, are the Groundhogs like related to the University of Dallas? I can't see any reference to that. I mean, they may well be, but additionally, <laughs> the University of Dallas is a private Catholic university. So, like, yeah, these are going to be neutral as fuck, these questions. Yeah, these these are going to be, like... It's is... niche. Also, yeah, it's like, the judge will select one response card. Not the cards are, because that's from a totally different game. And also... You know, is it... It's like they've just gone through all of the cards against humanity thing and just tweaked the names a little bit and the colour of the cards being black to blue. Also, I just like, don't like it. Is this game associated with the University of Dallas? Nope, but it was inspired by. So it's not associated with the university, but they're donating all the money to the university. This is just simping for a fucking university. I don't there's, like that. There's, a, there's another issue. There's a very there's another issue. Mm-hmm. So the the thing that they're like slogan per se is a card based party game for independent independent thinkers are you an independent person if you can only play a certain amount of cards in your hand yeah this is I, I've never called it's cards against humanity as a, as a sorry you're not independent you're yeah. just playing the things in your hand that's not independency it's and, literally playing a game and also what the fuck is Fanny Price's Savage who the who, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm missing out something. I don't. Maybe Fanny Price is a well-known person, but it's it's just aren't funny. No, they're not. I'm I'm sorry, but there is not a single card in that deck that can compete with Pac-Man uncontrollably guzzling cum. There is nothing that can compete in that deck. Oh wait, so if you go to updates, it's got um some of the cards. Last night it got run up for Gregorian chant at music on the mall. Ha ha. Eye contact in the fishbowl. Ha ha. Uh. Accidentally hitting your crush with a corn toss baggy. What? I've always wanted the true, the good, and the beautiful to be my ring by spring. Maybe I'm just not Catholic enough to understand these. Yeah, maybe this maybe this is a Catholic cards against humanity. Maybe that's the thing. If we were Catholic, we would be. I t- Actually, not, 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 not even just Catholic. It's like because I've got references to the universities, and it's like I think this is literally just cards against humanity made for this one university. This is literally just made for the University of Dallas, and maybe anyone watching this from the University of Dallas is going to be roaring with laughter at these things. But yeah, the sorry, the nicknames is the, the Crusaders. It's not the nicknames, not even the Groundhogs. How the fuck are the Groundhogs? <laughs> 